You hear the bluebirds? That's a bluebird talking. I just love this property right here. Someday Novella will have her place right here. Need to move that tree right there. And it's a tall one. I have to hire somebody to move it. I haven't seen hardly any bluebirds this year because I've been sick and I haven't been outside much. I'm grateful that I feel better and I can hear them talk. Yesterday when I painted the back porch, they were just out here just chattering away. I always think about them whispering to each other. Well, Carlos has been doing a good job keeping everything mowed. We've got so much that needs to be done and it's so hot and you just can't do it all. It's just going to take, it's a, you know, a work in progress. But, if I live long enough to see it, this place will have some more improvement. Novella's working third shift. She doesn't feel like doing much out here anymore. And six nights a week to boot. So, I'm listening to the bluebirds. They're just all over. Seem like it's a pair. <laughs> love to hear them. I'm thankful. I'm grateful and thankful to be out here looking at our property. Cucumbers are doing so well. The vines have just gotten large and they're just putting on. And squash is kind of dying out. got a good harvest already. Bell pepper. And I've got a tomato planted there, a volunteer tomato that I've moved and hopefully for some late tomatoes. Tomatoes are kind of kind of finishing up. They all came on about the same time. But look at the beautiful Kentucky. I mean my goodness I will say, it's a lot more beautiful than where, where I was born and raised. And <clears throat> looks like the Penningtons have been getting their hay rolled. I guess I made him fly away. All right. Got a little jerky there, but we did get to see him. <laughs> 